Hello everyone and welcome to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about cascading slicers. What do you mean by cascading slicers? For example, when I select a particular category from my category slicer, you will notice that my bar chart here is getting filtered. However, the rest of the slicers that I have on my page are not getting filtered. And if I have to filter them, for example, if I select beauty as a category here, I would only want to see the locations where this particular category is sold. And I would like to only see those customers who have bought beauty products. Now let's quickly go to the model view. One way of achieving this is by changing the filter direction. You can change the cross filter direction from single to both and then click on save. And let me do the same thing for the other dimension table as well. I'm gonna click on both, click on save. Now let's go back to the report view. And now when I select a particular category, for example, books, notice that my locations, I only have three different locations appearing here and I have my customers 12, 16, 17, etc. When I select a different category notice that I only have two locations now and I have only these three customers who have purchased but however if you have set the cross filter direction to both and if you are working with a complex data set now these will come with their own issues these issues can be related to your performance degradation when you set the bi-directional cross filters the performance of your power bi report can be significantly affected especially when you're working with large data sets the relationships can result in slower query process processing time and you'll also have ambiguity in relationship you'll also have circular dependencies especially when you are working with multiple fact tables in a model it can get quite complicated so what is the alternative that we have other than setting the cross filter direction to both i'm going to teach you that let's quickly go back to single now and i'm going to repeat the same thing for the other dimension table as well i'm going to set it back to single and now let's go back to my report now you can see that when i select any particular category here my location and my customers are not getting filtered so let us see how we can do that all we have to do is create a measure for this i'm going to create a new measure let's call this measure as cascading filter i'm going to check if my fact table is empty or not so i'm going to use a not function here open bracket and then say is empty followed by the fact table i'm going to close the bracket here close the bracket again and confirm now let's quickly add this cascading filter measure into a new card and you will see that it is returning the value as true let us understand why is this returning true i'm going to select a particular category here let's select books and now let's select a particular region here and let's select customer one now you can see that we don't have the customer one in our books category and that is why this is returning false but what if i choose a different customer let's choose a different customer now you can see that the customer 12 is present in the books category and that is why this has changed to true which means that if you don't have a particular data it is going to return false and when you have the data for a particular category it is going to return true now to make things simpler let's quickly make some more changes to this measure i'm going to change this into an integer which means that this is going to return value one or zero if it is true it is going to return one if it is false then it is going to return a zero now what we need to do is i'm going to select the category slicer that i have here and then open up the filters on this visual here i'm going to bring in the cascading filter and then say is one and then click on apply filter and then i'm going to select location bring the cascading filter here and then select is and then one click on apply filter repeat the same thing here for the customers visual as well I'm gonna say is and then one click on apply filter and now when I select a particular category here you see that my location slicer is also getting filtered along with my customer when I select a different category here you see that my location slicer is also getting filtered here along with my customers and when I go to the model view my filter direction is still set to single and the measure here is doing all the magic that we wanted on our slices I hope this particular tip will help you overcome some of the challenges that you are facing whenever you set your filter direction to both. So that's it guys in this particular tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.